Hey guys, it's Shin from the Pendits, and today I am in Lorry in a lecture theater, as you can see. Um, and today I'll be going over the Monteverde Invincia Deluxe Stealth Black Edition. Um, but before I start, I do have some housekeeping to take care of. Um, I you don't see me carry boxes as often, and that's because again I move around a lot. Um, the reviews I do, I hope to do in a new kind of building every single time. So carrying a box is slightly cumbersome. But if there is a box that is really good, like the Levenger LTech boxes, which I hope to review, um, I will obviously show that or like show it off a little bit because it's a really beautiful box. All right, let's get started with the review. Um, um, this is a black fountain pen. Um, it's a cartridge converter, takes standard international long or short cartridges. Um, the converters it takes are again standard, but you can also adapt screw-in converters for these, like the ones Yafa usually puts out. Um, it's a screw-type cap and a relatively heavy pen. Um, it might be something you might like for daily writing, um, but for me personally it's slightly too heavy. Um, it has a carbon fiber pattern throughout, that's what the Deluxe edition in Winchester's have in common is they have carbon fiber and then they have different colored accents. This one is completely black. All right, all right, guys, I'm gonna go from top to bottom telling you of what I like about the pen and what I don't like about the pen. And at the end, we're gonna do a writing sample. Okay, let's start with the cap. Uh, the cap is completely flat at the top. It, the finial does have a mountain which is uh, distinctive of the Monte Verde mountain. Uh, right below that, there's some sort of, there, there are two step downs to it, and right below the second step down, you start the cap. The cap is a pretty simple cap. It's straight and it has a ball at the end. It is sort of like the pilot caps on the Custom 74 and the 823. Um, below the cap, um, there is the Um, the cap starts to flare out just a little bit um, and the flaring out only occurs in a section that is made of um, the cap flares out just a bit only on the carbon fiber section um, and right below it it says Monteverde USA and on the back it says Invincia Deluxe um, there is almost no step down though on on the cap band you can feel some but there is absolutely zero step down from the cap to the barrel the barrel tapers down uh, through a whole carbon fiber section and it ends in a metal cap which is completely flat at the end okay um, the clip is pretty strong it's it's not it would suffice for a thin t-shirt but it might not go over a jeans pocket because it's not very springy it is very strong it's gonna hold your pen if you stretch it out, but the amount of pressure you need to stretch it out is quite a lot. So it's a screw type cap, and once you get in, you're created with a very, very thin section. It's curved, which I like, uh, but it's rather small, even for my hands. It's a very thin section and a very heavy pen to deal with. Um, I might like this once in a while to use, but for an everyday writer, I don't think this is going to make the cut. Um, the grip does have a hemispherical protrusion uh, that prevents the hand from getting on the nib while writing. So no matter how thin the section is and how big your hands are, they're not going to hit the nib while writing. Uh, the nib is a standard number six size. Oops, there's ink on here. Uh, um, the nib is a standard number six size nib um, whose feed and housing is standard for Yafa. Uh, this is a black 1.1 stub. It's not as springy um, as I would have liked or as much as the Conklin stubs are. I know it's the same manufacturer, Yovo, um, but weirdly it, it feels like the Conklin nibs are slightly, more, they, give, they have slightly more give. There's no flex to this at all. However, it's a sm very, very smooth nib. It is one of the best stubs I've ever tried. I have tried some Conklin stubs and they do not compare to this. This stub is just very smooth. 
to write around it, right? So that was a quick, very quick video. Let's move on to the writing sample. Cool. All right. Uh, here's the writing sample. Before I start, I do want to say if I shake the camera too much, it's because I'm on one of these really tiny um, desks that come standard with these auditorium chairs. Um, and also I have ink on my fingers. That's because during the review, I thought the pen was empty, but it obviously wasn't. And so I have some blue ink on my fingers. Um, so let's just get started into the review. This is the Monteverde Invencia Deluxe Stealth in a 1.1 stub. Today's ink is Pilot Hiroshi Zuku. Compact. Just got the ink for you real quick. Um, the ink looks like this. It's a pretty light and brilliant blue. Um, the Hiroshi, uh, Gonpeki in Japanese means, or I think it means, cerulean or sky blue. And it pretty well represents that. It shades quite a lot. Um, here it is against Lamy Turquoise, and here it is against Noodler's Bay State Blue. Now, Bay State is a very, very, very brilliant blue ink, um, but it's not safe in regular pens. If I do have a throw around pen, I will put Bay State in that, but it's unlikely you'll see it in the review. Um, so that's what the inks look like. Um, Hiroshi Zuku Konpeki does shade quite a bit. Um, if you can't see it in this, I'm very sorry. Again, blame the camera. That's the only thing I can do right. All right, so let's go for the writing sample. So it's a pretty wet pen. Um, on the side stroke, it's not as wet. Uh, but on the down and up stroke, my does it put a lot, put down a lot of ink. Um, it's a 1.1 stub. It's pretty cursive, um, but you don't make it out as much unless you hold the pen almost vertical. So now you can see the line variation, right? Uh, this is just holding it a little bit but I do not feel comfortable flexing this nib. Um, it's a pretty nice nib. It's juicy, um, but it's not meant to be flexed. It can be, it can be, um, but just try to avoid it if you can. And if you do flex it, just be careful and be aware that it's at your own risk. All right, thanks guys. That's enough for me for the Monteverde. Invincia Deluxe in Stealth. Um, I'll see you guys soon, but until then, stay safe.